Hey, Stuart, what's happening there? Uh, right, guys, so just now, what we've done now today is we've got the wiring loop in. Let's have um, a look at that then, eh? Okay, so it's all all on the engine, it's just got to be connected up now, isn't it? Yeah, so we basically just laid, the, laid it out so we know where things are. We've taken some of the bits out of the loom, like uh, we had a, uh, an engine coolant heater where Basto 1 sat here on the in, in, inside of the wing, on the inner wing. As you can see, coolant pipes have been cut to, um, to, to fit it in. So that went in through um, your wiring loom on your, on your heater blower side. That was all, so that's all come out now. So we're gonna to have to obviously redo all of that. So we've taken all that lot out. So that's all the wiring down there, if you look on the floor down there. So that's the wiring for that and for the um, air conditioner, uh, no, sorry, the night heater that was fit, originally fitted to it, the Webaster night heater that was in there, plus all the uh, the fuel pumps and stuff like that for, for, to, to run the heaters, uh, which obviously were attached to the tank. So all that's gone out now. So what we've got now is we'll, what we've done so far was just laid everything out. So everything's pretty much where it should be. Just a little bit of tweaking and, and stuff there when we get round to it. Um, obviously, once the seat box is on, we can put all that back in. So yeah, so that's where we are now. Fuel lines are in now. Um, new fuel filter and fuel housing. Um, the uh, tow hitch electrics have all been now push through the chassis, come out down there, inside here. So they all go into where it's got to go to eventually. Um, so that's where we are. So now what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get all the bits done that we need to get done. Um, brake lines, you know, um, flexi hoses on the brakes, making sure everything is right before we start putting big lumps of metal on top and then it makes life a bit harder to do it. So easier to do it when it's like this. Um, a little bit harder to do it when the, when the body's on. So that's what we're doing now. So it takes a little bit more time when you're building things back up because you want it right. You don't want to just throw it all back together and it's not going to mm -hmm. fit right. So changing the bolts, making sure we've got all proper um, uh, bolts in, which we've done, new bolts. And so it's, it's almost so like... You get, we get a new cross member there, haven't we? Yeah. Which bolts onto the front of the, the kind of rear tub, doesn't it? Yeah, so the, the rear tub sits here on these brackets here. So yes, it's almost like, it's pretty much like a, a nut and bolt restoration really, we've done on this. Um, apart from, there's certain, yeah, bits in, there's certain bits and bobs about that we've just cleaned up and put on. Yeah. They're not new, you know. So we'll just keep them going. Um, so it's just a case of like... Well if you look at these brackets here, that's the bits we've cleaned up. I mean they were in a bit of a mess, weren't they? Yeah. And they've been cleaned up and other bits and pieces like that, you can see the... Yeah. In fact we had to cut them off in the end, didn't we, if yeah, I remember we right? You. Yeah, we had to cut them off. Uh, so like uh, they were proper in there. So yeah, you know things. It's just the way it is. When you put your bits up like this, you, you just need to. You want it right now. Do it now because once, like you say, once everything's back on, it's it's harder to get to these places mm -hmm. and nooks and crannies to do it. You know when you certainly when you've got sausage fingers, um, just like this now. So I've put the heater my heater on just so I can put the pipe work in to know what if I can do anything. If not, I'll try and get a new bit of thing and then and that. That can come off now out the way, um, and then I'll put the engine wiring loom in to fit all that. Um, and we know then that that's all done then, and that up and running. So, um, and then I think we're going to go for electric fan now, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're going to do that viscous, and we'll, we'll put. Uh, we've got electric fans on the other vehicles, and I think we'll yeah. just do the same thing with this. Yeah. So we'll whip this off and put electric fan on. Um, we'll order that up and get that put on. Yeah. Um, so yes, it's it means well once we've got it off, yeah. mate, like, you know, it's... So yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of things have been obviously just trying to make sure that we've got everything off the old bulkhead, put it on the new bulkhead where, where it goes, where it should go. There's a couple of bits that aren't on the, um, the, the new bulkhead. So I mean, there's a few extra holes on there as well, isn't yeah. there? We're not really sure what they're for, whether we just plug them off or not. So yeah, so we just need to we just need to work out what we need and what we don't need and, and where there isn't a hole we're gonna to have to drill a hole yep that's it well that's not a big, a big issue yeah. is it no. yeah so anyway good so Stu from uh, vmware came and done the electrics today didn't he he's been a diamond with the electrics for us yeah because yeah. uh, you have said before electrics aren't your thing are they really electrics aren't my strongest point no <laughs> you know but so it's great that we get some of that uh extra skill there that uh, helps us i mean you can put it all in but you know like yeah, it's, but it's a, it's a learning process as well, you know, you learn, you learn stuff. Yeah. You know what I say, my, it's not, it wasn't, it was never my strongest point of, 
Mm. But it's the whole idea of the project, isn't it? So even for you as our head mechanic, yeah. you're still learning stuff. You do, yeah. And when you're looking at stewing with how he's braiding up the hoses and stuff like that, like it's just yeah. you know, like uh, or the wiring. I mean, he's, some of the stuff he's been putting together is unbelievable, yeah. wiring wise. Well, every day's a school day, isn't it? You know, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Even at our age, you know, you yeah. learn stuff all the time. So, and that's the main thing, you know. You, you do stuff like this, and you learn things, you know. And you can you can make things better as well for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've done brake lines on the front. So we've put all armoured brake lines and we've put some new pipes on down there, as you can see. So we've done that. We've um, started to put the steering column in, as in the brackets to hold all the steering things, all quite loose and stuff like that. Feeding um, washer pipes through, just making sure that we've got all the wiring in the right place um, uh, coming through the bulkhead. Uh, again, a bit of wiring. Um, this needs to be moved because it's just slightly too far this way, it needs to go back in that way and then just try and work out what goes where. Um, Did we, you mention the EGR blank uh, before? No, we have put an EGR blank on. Yeah. Um, the EGR we took off wasn't that bad, I've seen worse, I mean proper clogged up but this one was pretty clean but it just saves hassle later on down the line so we put an EGR blank on. Um, this particular vehicle had a, a Webasco coolant heater, engine uh, warmer, pre-coolant warmer, um, which basically you switch on and it, it circulates the coolant when you're in a cold environment um, before you get in and start up. So you I mean, we remember that from being in the Arctic, do yeah, it? Like, so you know? if, you've, if you've ever done stuff up in Norway with, with the military, then you'll know what all that's about. So we have one of these fitted to this, but we've taken it out, but hence bits of pipe coolant pipe missing because obviously it had to sit in the coolant circulation so we need to get a new new pipe for that we'll try and work that one out so that's something we need, we're trying to see um, again brakes on this side have been done um, through here yeah as we were before so we just pushed these through we worked out where everything goes now brake pipe's gone in to the back We've put that in, so we just need to put the clips in now. We've, these holes have got to be about slightly bigger. Um, but then we can clip that into place and that's all good. Started putting that, all right, so the yeah. vents, right. Can we talk about the mesh for the vents? So yeah, so the, so the mesh across the front of the bulkhead, we, we, our main supplier, which is local to us, um, Keith Gotts, they can't get them. So if someone does know where, they, where we can get new ones from, please let us know. Because obviously we've got we've got more bills to do, um, but so we've taken these off the old ones and, and re-tacked these onto the onto this one, which wasn't a massive drama, but we've done it um, just purely because we couldn't get new ones. So we've done that. Give them a spray, and they're looking good now. Uh, today this this part of the of dash has gone on, um, and obviously some of the wiring's been bolted into that where it sits, it clipped on, like clipped, clipped in on. where it should yeah. be there. Okay, so that's all started to go in. And then the main bit is that the rear tub has gone on. Um, now they're just fixing the back at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, a little bit of adjustments going on here, here there and everywhere. But so at the moment we're just putting the back on. Yeah, as you can see. So that's all squared up now. That's squared up onto that. So that but the front end of the tub we're gonna leave off for now just so we can make sure it's all square Get the, once we've got the roof on and we're all square because it's going to be a bit of on, off, on, off just to make sure everything is right where it should be Yeah. because what we don't want is any issues with door shuts and doors not closing and too close to this so it's got to be done right first time so we'll take, take our time on it and if it means to putting the roof on making sure everything's square taking it off just to bolt everything back up again put it back on, double check fine and then bolt on and go for it so that's that's the plan on this um, they can be a bit nasty to do some drop in straight away easy and straight up but some just a bit fiddly um, obviously with a new chassis it's it's just we just want to make sure it's square so we're not going to have any problems yeah. when we get to the other bit okay yep so that's good. where we are well uh today's plan was refit of the tub 
uh, the roof and windscreen, as you can see, they are all on. Uh, so, we had issues with this yesterday when we put the tub on, whether it would, everything would line up. We what did. was your thing? Um, but when we put everything in, tighten the corners up, uh, back and front, adjusted the side walls, because obviously they moved around with the tub's been off, uh, and everything has pulled nicely into line. So fortunately, because we repainted the vehicle already, we have paint lines that help us tell if we've well, put it back a, in the right place or not. Well, that's because we pre-painted it, didn't we, pre before we took it, it apart? Yeah, for, the, for the practice run. Uh, so the good thing you learn from this is... Uh, this is the shielder chassis and the shielder bulkhead. Yes. And lots of people have said they never line up. We've not really experienced that, have we? Well, we have got one issue. Um, we're going to have to do something with the mounting brackets. Yeah. Um, that go should go starkly yep. on the underside of the uh, yeah, footwell yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Another one, you mean? And we know they're not going to. Yeah. So we might have to redrill them or. Well, uh, that, do that's not a big issue, is it? The, the main thing is. It does. The roof. Up. The tub and the yes. bulkhead lining up. It was all lined up. And then you had a bit of an issue with one of the B-pillars, didn't you? We did. Um, as you may know from previous videos, uh, we were putting a new... B, B and C. And C pillar on the other side. Yeah. Due to rot. Uh, we were going to put what was we thought was the good one in this side uh, until it snaps off at the base and fell on the head. Fell on your head? Yes. Well, luckily it never hit anywhere like that meant anything, did it? No. You know, so, 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 yes, so now we've had to order another one for this side. And they're no cheap, are they? Five hundred quid. So this is been quite an expensive rebuild in a way, isn't it? It has, and we'll but be, uh, we should take this opportunity. Actually, Duncan did beg YRMs, which is where we bought these pillars from. Please, can you dispatch them today? And they have said they will do their absolute best to get them down here for tomorrow morning. Which so that will be a an abs that will be a proper bonus if they do turn up tomorrow. Well, if not, we've still got the other side to do, haven't we? We have, you know? yes, and uh, that will be job first thing tomorrow morning. At the moment, we're just putting on a few bits and pieces, put the steering column back in, just so as we can push it a bit easier. Is she throwing things at you? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we all in all, like we're we're really happy that this is all lined up. Huh? Because yep. we weren't sure just there, were we? No, the downside, like I say, was just the, the big pillar here and the seat. We were, we had taken it off and we did, we're going to have to plate the seat pillar. But then the B pillar fell apart anyway. So. so we've got a bit of welding to do tomorrow to put them together, haven't we? Stu's got a bit of welding to do tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So apart from that, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it through the side now, mate. It's not looking bad at all, is it? It's going together all right. It's actually starting to look like a defender again, eh? It is. Yeah. Oh, good then. Oh, good. So... Crack on with it tomorrow, eh? Yep. Uh, the shield of chassis and bulkhead, I have to say, have lined up pretty good, haven't they, Duncan? Yeah, they're not good. Everyone's lined up. Well, one of the issues we have found is the two brackets are going to the uh, bulkhead here. If you can just look down there, the holes are slightly in the wrong place to get the, uh, the bracket to line up where we need it to line up to. So we're just going to have to drill a couple more holes in the chassis just to get that fine. But if I'm honest, there isn't much apart from that that's been out of sync really.